So, Field Marshal Carlson's series on the horror that occurred in this country on January the 6th aired on Fox's paid streaming service, Fox Nation, early this month. And according to Field Marshal Carlson, he warned his viewers in the first episode, quote, they, they've begun to fight a new enemy in a new war on terror. Now, they, when Field Marshal Carlson uses the term, could be the Biden administration, liberals, people of color, um, non-Christians, non-fascists. God only knows what this sick fuck means when he says they've begun a new fight So he added, quote, not, you should understand, a metaphorical war, but an actual war. Soldiers and paramilitary agencies are hunting down American citizens, end quote. Soldiers and paramilitary agencies are hunting down American citizens. This filthy son of a bitch, Field Marshal Tucker Carlson, somehow has the right to put that kind of lying filth out into the ears of the sick fuckers who watch Fox and they believe him. There were promotional videos for this whole series um, that Tucker Carlson put together. Promotional videos uh, videos aired on Fox Sewer uh, late last week, and it set off loud alarm bells throughout the the network. Uh, Stephen Hayes, one of the people who resigned, said, quote, I thought it was irresponsible to put that out into the public airwaves. (laughs) You thought it was irresponsible, Stephen? You worked for a fucking network whose every utterance was irresponsible, but never mind. Um, Hayes added, quote, the trailer for the series basically gave people the impression that the U.S. government was coming after all the patriots, half of the country, in the word of one of the protagonists in the piece, and that the federal government was going to be using the tools and tactics that it used to go after al-Qaeda. And that's not happening. Of course, it's not true. End quote. Stephen Hayes. Well, of course it's not true. But when you consider the audience that clusters around Field Marshal Carlson, the way flies cluster around a pile of of cow dung, you can understand Stephen Hayes' concerns. He added, quote, It's a narrative in that series that is contradicted by certainly the vast collection of legal documents charging those who participated in January 6th and the broad reporting by a wide variety of news outlets on what's happened on January 6th and in the time since, and contradicted in part by Fox News' own news site and the reporting that people on the news site have done, end quote, Stephen Hayes. And as for comment, by NPR about the departure of uh, Stephen Hayes and Jonah Goldberg, Field Marshal Carlton says that their leaving will, quote, substantially improve the channel, end quote. This is what Nazis do. Carlson also mocked these two men for denouncing him because of the bullshit conspiracy theories he puts out there. Carlson said, quote, these are two of the only people in the world who still pretend the Iraq war was a good idea, end quote. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, well. And when he was pressed by NPR to comment about the objections that are coming from other Journalists who, for some reason, are still working at the Fox sewer. Why the fuck don't you people leave? But Carlson, Field Marshal Carlson, had nothing to say about them. 
Um, viewers could see Fox's prominent journalists move, distance themselves from Field Marshal Carlson's series immediately after the promotional videos first aired. For example, on the Friday before the release of Field Marshal Tucker's, uh, Eric Carlson's series, Patriot Purge, Brett Baer aired a segment on the investigation of the insurrection by veteran national security correspondent Jennifer Griffin, who works there. And the featured interviews that she conducted dismissed totally these horrific claims of so-called false flag attacks. That is, that it was really left-wing and activists pretending to be Trump fans as they attacked the Capitol. This is the kind of bullshit that Field Marshal Tucker and the rest of the swine that are on that station are putting out. And then the day before Tucker Carlson's series launched, The Patriot Purge, um, Chris Wallace broadcast an interview on Fox News Sunday with Representative Liz Cheney. She's one of, as you know, just two Republican members of the House Committee investigating the insurrection. And in that interview, Liz Cheney busted the shit out of the series, too. Now, the series itself relies on liars, uh, uh, peddlers of, of these crazy conspiracies, people who, who deliberately seek out the company of white supremacists, Nazis, uh, Klansmen, uh, racist pigs, and they will be cited as credible sources, or I'm sorry, they would not be cited as credible sources by the few newscasters that still exist at the Fox Sewer. And Goldberg said that he and Stephen Hayes, the reason they resigned, they could no longer tolerate the bullshit being beamed and broadcast and streamed by the Fox channel. Goldberg said, quote, being a Fox contributor is kind of a brass ring in conservative and right-wing circles, and I was well compensated. I'm not looking to be a martyr or ask for penny, pity or any of that kind of stuff, but it's a significant financial hit for me. And it's also cutting yourself off from a very large audience. Well, yeah, but Jonah, why in the fuck would you want an audience of psychopaths? I guess you finally reached a point where you don't. Goldberg added, quote, we don't regret the decision, but we found it regrettable that we had to make the decision, end quote. Now, just if you're keeping score, both Hayes and Jonah Goldberg were formerly top editors, uh, Hayes at the Weekly Standard and Jonah Goldberg at the National Review. And they recently joined forces to found a conservative anti-Trump site, which is what the dispatch is. Uh, Hayes is the outlet's uh, founding CEO and editor, and Jonah Goldberg is the editor-in-chief of the dispatch. And they say that their site is intended to appeal to conservatives with commentary and news grounded squarely in fact. <laughs> okay. Goldberg adds this, quote, We launched the dispatch in part to model behavior we thought was increasingly missing on the right, particularly in conservative media. The online magazine, The Dispatch, is not beholden to a partisan agenda, not looking to simply monetize dopamine hits by making people angry, end quote, which is what the Fox sewer does, of course. So that, that is the kind of news report from NPR that um, talks about why Goldberg and Hayes decided to bail from the Fox sewer. 
I've said this before, uh, and I can say it again until my jaw drops off and it will mean nothing, but I, I cannot get my mind around why so many white people continue I guess the, 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 the trick is white people, but so many of these white people continue to stay there. These are people I assume, and this is a false assumption, obviously, I assume, wanted to be journalists. Um, with two or three exceptions, no one left on the Fox who is a journalist. They are the classic definition of propagandists, along with the classic definition of fascist propagandists. And why anyone listens to it is beyond me, but that's because I still have a um, partially independent mind. I can still think clearly. I don't think anyone who watches the Fox sewer could possibly make that claim. The only reason they watch Fox is because they know that their racism and incipient Nazism and their Christian fascism is going to, to be promoted and, and caressed and, and they're going to hear uh, scum on that work telling them that their sick mindset is proper and correct and will probably be an attempt to establish the Fourth Reich. Only, how do you say Reich in American English? Trump? Hi, Truth Seekers, Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.